Okay. Wagger syndrome. Also known as Wilms tumor aniridia syndrome or aniridia Wilms tumor syndrome or the Wagger complex. So it's a disease that's like a combination of four different things or more. W is Wilms tumor, A is for aniridia, G genitourinary problems and R for mental retardation which is now called intellectual disability. So that's the Wagger. Okay, Wagger syndrome. So the Wilms tumor, also known as nephroblastoma, so this is the kidney with this tumor. By the way, you don't have to um, have all of them in the same patient. And even Wilms tumor is not present in all of them. It's only 50% or so. But the typical board exam question will describe, I think, three or four of them. Aniridia is absence of iris. The iris is the colorful part of your eye. So more light will enter the eye leading to more problems such as photophobia. Genitourinary problems and this will differ if the patient is a male or female. In males it's usually undescended testicle also known as cryptorchidism or hypospadus which is when the urethral opening is on the inferior surface of the penis. If it's a female, it's usually streak ovary, which is non-functional. So there will be amenorrhea, primary, secondary. Of course, it's primary amenorrhea. Mental retardation will have like low IQ and sometimes ADHD problems. So that's Wilms to that's Wagger syndrome, W A G R, and this eleven to remember chromosome eleven. Okay, in the short R. So Wilms tumor, anorrhea, genitourinary mental retardation. Try to remember this drawing because usually in the heat of the exam we will forget all of this and we just remember the drawing so try to focus on that thank you